onto our weekly feature, Citizen Planet. And you've probably noticed that there are lots of birds in your neighborhoods recently. Well, as the seasons shift and the chill of winter sets in across Europe and Asia, a spectacular natural event is taking place. Millions of birds leaving their homes behind, embarking on a long journey towards the warmer landscapes of Africa. Among their destinations is Kenya. But this, is, this ancient rhythm of migration is now under threat. Climate change is altering the skies, disrupting flight patterns and striking feeding grounds and throwing entire ecosystems off balance. Take a listen. Each year, from mid-September to late December, skies above Europe and Asia come alive as migratory birds set off on an epic voyage south. In search of warmth and survival, they travel thousands of kilometers. Some covering more than 7,000 kilometers to escape the biting chill of winter. Their journey leads them to Africa, with Kenya among the key stopovers offering refuge in its diverse and welcoming habitats. So our birds mostly, as the boat shows, comes from Europe and Asia, Eastern, then down into Kenya, and then they go even, they can go even as the boat shows to South Africa, down to South Africa, during, during migration. And then they'll come back again. When the winter finishes, because birds are migrating because of the winter, and in the winter the, uh, the period is so harsh that the birds cannot survive. Dr. Imbomba, an ornithologist and expert in avian life, explains that bird migration falls into two broad categories, each with its own distinct roots and rhythms. In this palearctic migration, about 170 species of birds will leave Europe every year come to Africa and go back. When you talk about Afrotropical migration, these are the birds that migrate within the tropics. They can leave Africa from shorter distance. Some can come from as places like Madagascar and come in. And these are about 60 species of birds that do that migration. Kenya stands out for its incredible variety of habitats that provide essential refuge for these migrating birds. Ranging from forests, not just forests, but lowland forests like tropical forests in Kakamega, highland forests like in Mount Kenya, coastal forests like Arabuko Sokoke forests, and all these, and even the Taita Hills that forms part of the uh, Eastern Ark Mountains. But these journeys are increasingly perilous. Climate change has altered habitats and conditions along migratory paths, making survival harder for the birds. Hii anga inapatilisha mazingira kwa njia moja ama ingine. Ukiangalia kama ponde la ufa, mito imefurika. Ukiangalia mazingira ingine, unapata mito inakauka kwa sababu ya hii upatilifu ya hali anga. Na hizi ndeke zikitoka uingereza zikikuja hapa, zikipata mto umepa, umekauka, ama umefurika kiwango kikubwa mahali pa kutua na kutafuta chakula inakuwa ngumu Despite the immense challenges they face these birds travel vast distances with unwavering purpose but their significance goes far beyond the spectacle of migration they play a vital role in maintaining ecosystems and supporting human livelihoods birds can control pests on our farm. They feed on pests, they become like predators. Yeah. Another thing is about vultures. Vultures are very important in our ecosystem and they are most threatened species in the world. Because vultures, imagine, they feed on during migration of wildebeest in, our, in the Masai Mara. And all animals that have been killed by lions are eaten almost halfway. But so which means vultures feed on almost on 70% of what has been left. Size is no matter in the migration of birds as each species travels when it's favorable. Smaller birds will migrate during night because it's cooler. 
they can use constellation. But these other birds, like uh, birds of prey, like uh, storks and so on, they'll fly during the day. The thermal energy, that energy when the sun hits the ground and it raises up, it forms the blanket of thermal energy, which the birds can hack on and just fly down. Some birds can form V-shaped movement so that they can exchange. V-shaped means they have formed a shape that can make them pierce through the wind, the wind and make it easy to fly from one distance to another. So the first birds point themselves in front and make a V-shape, but they keep on exchanging as they move by when they get tired. Some birds will make some, some songs or calls that make them bring the groups together as they move towards the destination they are going to. The birds follow defined routes, known as flyways, that guide their path to and within Kenya. So Rift Valley is one of the key flyways. The coastal region is one of the flyways, especially for uh, water birds, those that move from, and they can move along the, the shores and the coastal areas and find their way all the way. Some birds will make some, some songs or calls that make them uh, bring the groups together as they move towards the destination they are going to. From Europe and drop on East on um, Indian Ocean flyway, and then they go down and fly to South, to South Africa. So Conservation remains key to preserving these natural wonders and the habitats that sustain them. If you get fresh water system, eh, immediately it changes the birds that exist in that fresh water wetland. They start moving, and they indicate kuna mapatiliko kwa yomto be it marine ecosystem. Wale ndeke waziwa, wakati ziwa inapo patilika, hawa ndeke u take off. Kenya's vibrant bird life was recently showcased during the birds migration competition on 10th of May this year. Kenya outshone other African nations and ranked eighth globally, spotting over 800 bird species and cementing its status as a top bird tourism destination.